What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. In this one, we're going to be progressing into the Brotherhood of Steel quest line, starting with, of course, Belly of the Beast, as you can see on the upper right hand corner. This is the first official quest that I was given since I officially became a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. This is a pretty cool mission. This is probably, as I said in the last video, probably my best my favorite, I guess you can say, uh, mission in the Brotherhood of Steel. It's actually a pretty badass quest. I don't know how I'm going to fare in this because I'm kind of a low level. Not to mention, I'm not that strong and I'm a melee build. So it should be pretty interesting to see how this goes. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with it. I right, don't mind my little tent here. That's a part of a very exclusive club known as the first members of Fallout. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but seriously though, it is um, the Fallout first membership thing or whatever. Of course, I am a member. And I did, since the last video, I actually went and went to the Toxic Valley and actually made my own little base. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's not finished yet, so I don't want to show you until it's actually finished but when it's done rest assured i will be showing you because i really want to uh show to show you i really want to brag about it man i think it looks pretty badass so far there's a couple things structurally that i still need to do but for the most part it's pretty much done no i don't care Watoga is under a state of emergency and evacuation order do not attempt to enter the city limits and for god's sake get out if you're still here unless you are military or a roboticist in that case if you can do so safely make your way to the mayor's office in the municipal center holy crap it, it's a kind of a good thing that uh it's double xp weekend man because we're gonna have a hard time here, man. And that's like not even a joke. Die! How the hell did he manage to hit me? Oh god, this guy's level 40. Die! Woo! Wow, this is a good place. Oh crap. Oh man, this guy's level 54! Can I hit him from here? No. Maybe. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Maybe I should come over here for a second. Heal up. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. No, don't hit me, please. Be nice to me. Alright, I will take the food. That's probably all I'm gonna take. Ooh, hollow tape. We'll play it. Things are going it's probably gonna be long. Watogan society ladies are falling over themselves to buy my merchandise. I've had to resort to distressing things myself. Seems to be working. I want to be able to move to Watoga myself soon enough. This continues. Alright, I'm taking all of this because it's probably going to come in handy. There's still more people outside, isn't there? Oh look, it's me. <laughs> They killed me, those bastards. It's another Brotherhood Fatigues. I didn't even know it spawns here, but I guess it does. What's this right here? Uh, Brotherhood of Steel Report, Antique Store. Scouting Report. Brotherhood Squire Schultz. This old antique store has been a good source of supplies. I've stashed some weapons and ammo in the shed out back. Scavenging runs into a toga have been mixed. The robots are everywhere, and you never know when a turd is going to pop out of its hiding place and <laughs> start filling the area with lead or laser fire. That's true. I really should have paid more attention during training. Alright, so we're actually looking for some little satellites or whatever. I know exactly where they're at, so it's not going to be a big surprise. One of them is actually right in here. But, oh, looks like this guy already cleared him for me. He might be on the same mission. But yeah, no, it's double XP weekend right now, so that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and seek responder, and then we'll replay the last transmission. Scanning module did what you said. Drove the scourge crazy. 
But the miniguns tore them apart. Some of the Scorch Beast, uh, uh, Bravos. Providing air cover, though. Have you found the end zone? That's a negative. Module spit out new quartz deeper inside the bog. Got the transponder up. Open it to the next site. Good luck, Johnny. Alrighty. The next one is actually, if I remember correctly, I think it's actually inside Watoga. And that's going to be a disaster because these freaking robots are everywhere. So I'm going to tr try... Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, God. Run! I'm going to get my ass beat in here, aren't I? Yeah, this one's by a crashed uh, vertibird. Literally right in the middle of town. So hopefully we can... Uh, get there with minimal damage the see there's the bird bird so far I think so good oh cool we got a whole squad full of people here replay see Man, looks like the Brotherhood of Steel can't make it to the end zone. Like the Cowboys. Am I right? <laughs> Did it. Well, I'm going to go discover this train real quick. That way, I have another shop to go to if I ever need one. But, good thing we actually got here, this far at least, with minimal damage. The only problem is, too, is that there's a freaking Scorch Beast at the end of this... Uh part of the mission so it should be pretty interesting to see what happens i'm probably gonna die quite a bit of time so don't be surprised if that happens all right let's go ahead and destroy this destroy that i have a lot of uniforms i did get the uh union stuff because like i said i want to get like the I wanted to do a, a fort, which I ended up doing. Again, I'll show you guys when it's finally complete. But again, I'm kind of still low level and I, I'm pretty short in uh, in uh, crafting supplies. Ooh, let's, let's inspect this guy's base. So right now, though, my, uh, my camp is actually uh, wood, kind of like this right here. It kind of sucks because I wanted it brick. But, oh well, what you gonna do? It is what it is. Mole Miner Gauntlet, that's all he has? Maybe he's got one upstairs? Perhaps? This guy has turrets all over the place, man. I mean, you you kind of sort of need them. Being in the Cranberry Bog, yeah, it looks like that's all he's got. I should go to bed. That's what I should do. That way... Not only am I getting double XP for the double XP weekend, but I'm also getting the little extra boost of the well-rested. Not to mention, I'm going to heal all the way up, and I kind of need that too. No, but yeah, I kind of wanted my base to be uh, brick, but I don't have the brick plans, and those are freaking expensive. So I might get them, but like in the future. But this character really, like my main character, I want all the plans, so it's kind of, I'm kind of going around getting caps and buying as many plants as I possibly can. I have a ton of them already, but I mean, let's be honest, dude. There's there's a lot of freaking plants in this, man. I'm far from finishing that. But hopefully, hopefully we get that done soon so we can so that character can be completely done, but I feel like it's going to be a long time, and I honestly don't think I'm going to get them all before Wastelanders comes out. Hopefully they don't take out a lot of things uh during the Wastelanders uh DLC drop. Alrighty. 
The next one is on a little, like, makeshift camp. Brotherhood of Steel camp. There it is, right there. The problem with this one is that there's usually a Mr. Gutsy and some Scorched and... Or some ghouls or whatever, dude. There's all kinds of stuff here all the time. But power armor usually spawns right over there. Sometimes. Well, most of the time, to be honest. I've seen it a lot here. Doesn't look like it's here today, though. Doesn't look like there's anyone here, either. Sink. Play last Hyper transmission. Moreno, to Defiance. The Scorch must have fried one of the transponders. At Alpha Zulu 13. End zone is a negative. Module of yours is a real treat, Grant. New cords at Echo Lab 7. Bravo's all over. We'll make it to the end zone. Damn, dude. They literally are. They're going at it, bro. Unfortunately, we already know how that ends up. AKA, they end. Oh, look, it's another player over there. He's a level 59. He's kicking some ass. I was thinking about doing a two-handed build, but it was just easier to do a one-handed build. Plus, I found this super cool revolutionary sword that's uh, Vampires. It's a three-star. I can't remember the other two legendary effects, but uh, the primary is a vampire since I want to do like a tank build or whatever. I feel like I feel like the uh, the vampire's effect is a pretty strong one for this character, so I decided to go with that. Oh, drop site V9, the battle zone. Wait a minute, where am I going? It's literally right here. Ah! Oh god, they're gonna kill me. Thank you, kind citizen. Alright, so I think that... Yep, yeah, okay. That's the hard part right there, dude. Wish me luck, guy, uh, luck guys, because that part is... It's tough in there, dude. I'm not even going to worry about anybody out here, dude. I'm just going to try to make a run for it. Hopefully I make it, dude. Ah! Well, while I'm here, I might as well discover Fisher Sight Prime. I got the carnivore. Ah! Where's the entrance? Is it behind me? Yes, it is. Run! I made it. So in here, man, it shouldn't be too difficult here, realistically speaking, but the very end is going to be tough. Oh, come on. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That was close. Oh, I leveled up. Right? Yes, I did. Alright, let's go ahead and level up. What what do I need to level up? I should get my strength higher so I could be doing more damage. So left stick, okay. Let's see what's available under strength. Oh. I got you, bro. I got you. There you go. I think we're on the same mission. Alright, uh... Gladiator, done. Martial artist, done. Huh. I mean, we could do strong back. Expert gladiator. Eh, what the hell? We'll just go with strong back. Just so that we can put a, a, another point in here. And it'll help, of course, with carry weight. Well, me and that dude should really stick together. I'm pretty sure he's 
on the same mission that I'm on. Get over here! We should stick together, me and this guy, because... Well, long story short... We are in for a big surprise at the end. Let me take some TP just in case I decide to shit myself. <laughs> uh, should be interesting. What's up, bro? I see you, boo boo. For Narnia! Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hit him! Thank you. That guy's build is pretty strong, but then again, he is level 59. Chances are he's already maxed out. You know what I mean? He probably already has his perks exactly the way he wants them. Oh, also, when we get to the uh, next faction, there's parts where I'm not going to be able to do on a video as a let's play because it's just too long and grindy. Uh, so when we get to that point, I'm just going to be, I'll do that off screen or off camera or whatever. And then I'll hop back on and then of course we'll continue the storyline that way. So it's the mission uh, officer on deck specifically. I remember because that mission freaking sucks, but it is what it is. Like, it doesn't inherently suck, it's just, it's just pretty grindy. Let's go! Dude, I'm like going through my freaking stim packs. Dude, this is not gonna end well for me. I got you, bro! What I should do is get the enforcer perk and at least carry around a shotgun I'm gonna I'm actually gonna grab this just in case I need it and I really should pick up all the uh, ammo I can let's listen to this real quick all right settle down I'm listening are you recording this you agreed this was gonna be private this is just so we all have a record of what's discussed. Oh, fuck. Yeah, right. Oh, God. Where's the guy? Run! Look, I'm on your side. I... That oh, hell you are. I am on your side. But I got a boss, too. I oh, fuck. Okay. As many of you on as I could. At a quarter of our wages. <clears throat> Billy, I... Oh no. Oh no. That was so close. What is he doing? This isn't easy for any of us. It's easier for those damn eggheads. Yeah, I know. I don't like those pocket protectors any more than you do. I'd, I'd put them out on their scrawny butts if I could. But like it or not, that glass of theirs is... Paying the bills. Not my bills, it ain't. <laughs> what would you have me do, Billy? Really? What's one of them scientists' salaries, huh? Gotta be, what, ten of ours? What if there was a little accident? Billy, you aren't being serious. Maybe I am and maybe I ain't. All I'm saying is, what the... Nothing scheduled that would cause a quake like that. What the hell was it? <coughs> what me <meat> for? <coughs> Honest. No. I'm not. <coughs> oh man, I feel like I'm too low level for this dude. I don't know. Oh fuck, okay. Well, it looks like both of these guys are level 23, so oh shit. I was gonna say, maybe I should be fine, but. <coughs> Oh wait, that was just one of them. One of them was 20. Oh, fuck. Where'd you come from, bro? There we go. See, we're not doing too bad. Let's see where, where we are. 
Dude, we're already almost at level 28. Double XP weekend is the shit, dude. I love that. Alright, where do we have to go? We have to go this... This way, I think. Yeah, no, we're not doing too bad so far, but... It doesn't change the fact that at the end we have a very unpleasant surprise just waiting for us. We should probably, when we get close, we should probably wait for that other guy. Oh god, there's a Myler King. Myler King going against Scorched, it sounds like. Fuck, yeah, there he is. He's a level 32. Oh god, this is unpleasant. Let's see if the dude's here. Either he's not, or he's in sneak mode, because I don't see him on my map. Yeah. Oh no, this is not good. Yeah. He's chasing the hell out of him. <laughs> Where's he at health-wise, dude? He's still at full health. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Run! Run away! Oh god, where can I even go? I'm gonna die. Oh, there's no way in hell. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god. That's not fun. Not fun at all. Run away! Hopefully if we're lucky, we'll lose them. Or they get distracted or something. Oh god, I was hoping for some stim packs. Oh god, this is the end, isn't it? You know what? This might be a blessing in disguise. Check this out. Let's activate this person, and then we'll go around. Hopefully my plan works. Oh god. Well, it worked. Oh no, it kind of worked. But at the same time, it kind of didn't. I got an idea. Let's go freaking find Haggerty. Do I have anything else to throw? A cryogenic. Oh god. The Scorched Beast is winning. Let's go! Gotta hit him in the nuts. Oh god. Run away. Run away. Oh god. Nope. I'm gone. Oh god. This is not going good.
I'm getting... Am I getting chased? Kind of am. Oh no! Don't hit me please, thank you. Oh my god, dude, that was insane. I literally almost died multiple times. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh no, wait, not yet. Please still have some Rataways, dude. Well, I got some Diluteds. Let's, no, that's Radex. Oh, I got a lot of Diluteds. Let's see how much this heals us. Pretty much everything. All right, not, not bad. All right, let's go ahead and eat. And, of course, drink. There we go. Screw you guys. Let's go. That was intense, dude. We literally used... Dude, I don't even think we could have... Like, when we were hitting him with our, with our, uh, with our thing or whatever, with our, uh, our Black Diamond, it really wasn't even doing that much damage to her, dude. The Scorch Beast was literally just getting tickled, even though I was hitting him in the nuts. So, basically, we would have died if it wasn't for those, uh... For those things or whatever. The Myler Kings. I literally have like everything that I had since I started the game pretty much. Now that I know I don't need this stuff, I'm pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and rip. Can't Do I even have to repair this? No, I don't. So I guess we're good for now. Alright, where are we supposed to go now? Oh, that guy's still there. Oh, we have to go back. All right, let's go ahead to my survival tent. And then we should be pretty much in the clear. Because after this, it's Uncle Sam, which is, I guess you could say, the part where you're joining the Enclave. And then after that, it's obviously the Enclave quest line. And that's the end. That's everything. But, of course, we're not going to be finished here with just the main storyline. I really thoroughly enjoy this game, dude. Like, I'm probably going to do the uh, side quests and everything uh, here to at least the good ones. Like, I want to do uh, up... What is it called? Ever Upwards. But that one's super, super grindy. So, that one's definitely going to be, like, something I do on my own. But everything else, like the um, the one with the Miss Nanny in... Cam in Cam uh, not Camden at wavy willards that one i'll probably do on the channel uh and stuff like that you know what i mean all the ma the regular quests oh no wait which way is the is it this way okay yeah it's over here luckily we don't have to do anything because we already did all this so let's just go ahead and go straight upstairs and we should be good to go ew that sounds gross Freaking Pharrell ghouls, man, I swear. Alright, learn more about these guys. It's in here. There's a Wendigo in here. I can hear him. Let's play this real quick while I get this. Elder, I've read Scribe to Kano's reports. I've talked with Grant a lot, too. Spit it out. The sonic generators work, but... There are just too many Sierra Bravos. This strategy of ours. It's just delaying the inevitable. You're not giving up on me. No, of course not. But I think we may need something bigger. More final. Go on. One of the squires on patrol found a nuclear silo. Still functional. What? Even you, Lizzie? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Look around! Look at everything! The death, the destruction, the end of the world, that came from the nukes. Whoa. If we don't deal with the problems once and for all, they could kill everyone, all life on this continent. What the fuck is going on? There will always be a reason to use the weapon, always. Never again. I'd mop all the whole technology if I could. These ass 
assholes the took the freaking elevator. <laughs> yes, Elder. Oh. I consider this matter resolved. I don't want to talk about it again. Max and out. Let's, let's find a freaking bad dude, cuz. I almost died. Is there no bed around here? Oh god, please let there be a bed. Okay, good. That was insane, dude. Luckily, there's beds here. Because if there wasn't any beds here, dude, I'd probably be screwed, man. Because those freaking score, uh, those those uh, feral ghouls, man, they came out of nowhere, dude. And I didn't even know they knew how to use oper- uh, they didn't know- I didn't even know they knew how to operate a freaking elevator. God, I hope they didn't come up here again. Alright, so... I still gotta check the terminal, I think. So let me just get some rest and then we'll go over there and then we'll do that again. We're freaking flying though through, uh through levels right now thank god for freaking double xp because that's gonna help me get to level 50 i'm trying to get to level 50 hopefully before wastelanders comes out that way we're pretty much you know top level for wastelanders that'll be pretty legit actually dude my character snores i'm too legit to quit bruh all right, and let's go. Oh God, they're up here again, aren't they? No, they're not. All right, cool. Well, let's come in here and use this. Scorch Beast Analysis. Okay. Ultimate solution, I think that's what it is right there. There we go. Let's just go through all of this real quick. Just in case something triggers. There we go. I can craft ultrasite am uh, armor now too, so that's awesome. And I think it got put into my inventory if I remember correctly. Why do I have two power armor chassis? So that's the ultrasite. What level is this? Level 50. Can I get in this? No, yeah, it's too high level. Uh, what's the other one? When did I get this power armor? <laughs> Legit? I have no idea where I got this from. Strange. Okay, well, for now, let's go ahead. All right, where do we have to go anyways? Search Charleston Herald. Oh, of course, I got to go back. Of course, I have to go back there. Alright, let's go. 36 freaking caps, dude. They're gonna make me go broke here. So we're probably gonna do one more mission now that Belly of the Beast is done. We're probably gonna do Uncle Sam. And since that's basically discovering the next faction and after that, we're probably gonna call it a video. But this Enclave side... Is actually pretty cool too, man. I don't know. The end quests or factions of this game are pretty legit. Like, I like the free states, but the storyline is kind of boring. The raider quest line is interesting, but it just feels, especially with uh, with Rose. She's a cool character. It's just her story just drags, dude. It feels like forever. And then, of course, the responders. I like them in concept. I actually really like them in concept. They're really good people. But... Let's be honest, that's probably the most boring part of the entire game. It just teaches you how to boil water, pretty much. Charleston Herald. I think that's this building right here. 
I remember correctly, I just need to look at some file or something. But there's freaking score. Oh no, uh, feral ghouls. Level three. All right, don't mind if I do. I can't believe I missed that first one though. It's disgraceful. Ah! I think it's in here actually. There we go. It didn't even have to show me because I already knew exactly where it's at. Find Sam Blackwell's bunker. All right, where's Sam Blackwell's bunker? Ah, the abandoned waste dump. Would it be easier if I go here and then fast travel over there? Actually, you know what? Let's just fast travel there. Screw it, YOLO. Let's go in sneak mode so these Pharrell ghouls don't hear me. Sneaky, sneaky. Done so. Freaking abandoned waste dump, dude. That's insane. Man, these freaking... I really like the Pioneer Scouts for some reason. I don't even know why. I just think they're, like, adorable for <laughs> for some reason. Like, even once you complete it and you get the Campfire uh, Tales story or event, I think that's pretty funny. All right. Luckily, we're not that freaking far. Oh, dude, but then we have... We have a problem going into this place, too, now that I think about it. Uh oh, spaghettios! How am I gonna defeat them? Cause there's, there's two freaking death claws in this place, dude. Ugh. We'll figure it out. Oh, it's right here. Where am I going? Where am I going? That was easy. I mean, I had to spend like a hundred caps to go. To the freaking newspaper place and now over here but it's all you know what it's all good i'm not even worried about it Ooh, i will take this Ooh, super stim pack nothing you disgust me you disgust me all right i don't know how i'm gonna freaking do this find Sla sam blackwell he's on the left this is not going to be fun. I'm nervous. Alright, so there's nothing over here. It's over here somewhere. I think. Maybe. Um. Right? Or am I tripping? I think I'm tripping, dude, to be honest. Because I don't see it. I found the bypass holotape. I'm going to need that for a certain something coming up shortly. Oh, there he is. I knew it was over here. Let's listen to his story. Commencing op summary. Agent Gray reporting. Blackwell won't be causing any more problems. The bypass holotape got me into the bunker as expected. Though a longer range is recommended for future models. Essentially had to play the thing standing on top of the access panel to get it to work. Without the lures to distract those freaks. I might be dead instead of the senator. Once inside, I was briefly halted by Blackwell's laser grid. But resetting the power allowed me to grant myself clearance. Recovery of the access card to our facility was less successful. I found a keypad, but was unable to decipher the code. Recommend sending in a specialist to collect it. I'm proceeding to the next target, after which I'll... What happened to the power? The 
floors. Oh, God. Well, we know what happened to him. He got attacked by the things that are in here. Did I get two? Well, screw it. I'll probably I'm probably gonna have to fix my build later. It is what it is. But I need my, my thing to be at level 15. Actually, I think I might have screwed it because I still need to get the uh, master. Oh, he's only level 21. I think I could take him. I'm going to have to. Alright, hopefully I can sneak up and get at least one sneak attack on him. Oh, God. Ah! I should have just ran for it and hit him. Oh no, he's not gonna die. Run! Can he come up here? There goes the other guy. Eh, forget them. I'm not even worried about it, because they can't even come up here. I <laughs> watched them come up here. User access updated. Welcome. You gonna let me come in or what? There you go. Enter the bunker. So where, who does this Sam Blackwell belong to? He's been a pretty important piece to this entire freaking puzzle with the free states and I think Rose and the Brotherhood and now this place. Um... Hello? Hello? There isn't anything in here, is there? <gasps> Gasp! What is this? Let's find out. I don't think there's any bad guys in here. Maybe some rad roaches. Alright, let's twist the air flu. The vet is this. A lot low on food. I'm not worried about that. Let's go. No, nothing here. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and scrap if we have anything. Just to make a little bit of extra room. Could always use aluminum. Give me those cans. Alright, let's see. What's over here? Let's turn on the circuit breaker. That's important. Oh, you know what I just thought of? I had scrapped my toilet paper. Pickaxe Pilsner. No, thank you. Judy. Goodbye. Um. Oh, that's right. I got to go this way. There's a little magic button over here. There we go. Don't tell me what to do. Let's I think this oh wait, I don't have that. Alright, screw it. Let's go. Let's jump down. This is a quick way to access it. Credentials recorded. Access granted. Why, thank you. What is this all about? Uh, we're coming for you. Oh, that sounds threatening. Thank you. 
Damn, dude. He's getting... He's... He's getting attacked. Alright, let's see. One, two, one... Eight, five, five. Error. Nope. Six digit code required. Seven, seven, eight... Two, three, two. Invalid code. Nope. Alright. One, four, seven, six, zero, four. Invalid code. Nope. That means the last one's the one on the terminal. It would be the last one, damn it. I don't remember which one it is. Right? There is one on here, right? Or am I tripping? There we go. Alright, uh, zero, two, one, five, eight, four. Code accepted. It's about freaking time. It would be the last one. That is his. Welcome to White Spring. Uh, welcome to White Spring. Where is it? There it is. Greetings, esteemed congressman or senator. Welcome to the future of the United States government. Thank you Welcome for having me. White Spring. Designed with comfort and safety in mind, the White Spring Bunker, located directly below the lavish resort of the same name, will act as your very own oasis in the event of a hostile nuclear strike. All you need to do is present the enclosed access card upon your arrival, and our automated bunker management mainframe will do the rest guiding you through the process of getting to know your new home, all while supporting the continuation of the necessary functions of government. So when the inevitable comes, won't you join us at the White Spring? Well, whoever these people are, they have a nice little comfy home under the White Spring. Hold on, whoop. Uh, main. All right, so we're one of us now. So we're going to go and actually discover this place. And then from there we'll probably call it a day for now. Since we're already nearing an hour, we're not going to have time to go through another mission. So literally we're at the last part of the freaking game uh, of the last game. We're at the last part of the game now. It's pretty freaking amazing. Also, the last faction, but the last two, well, the last, the second to last mission is very grindy, so we're definitely not going to do that on camera, maybe just a couple of parts of it, but there's this part where you have to, like, go around and killing, like, epic, quote-unquote, epic monsters and stuff like that, like, or epic beasts, like, scorch beasts, for example, and that's just going to be too freaking grindy, because I have to pretty much go around the entire map getting promotion points and stuff like that for these people. So I'm not going to do that on camera because it would probably take like three episodes, man, because it's kind of grindy. So I'm just going to probably do like one one episode's worth and call it a day. And then for the last mission, I'm probably going to get one of my buddies to help, you know, carry me through the entire thing because it's... It can be pretty hectic in there. May I answer, please? Access granted. Whoa. Welcome, Senator Blackwell. That door opened insane. What do we have here? No glaring mutations. Radiation exposure present, but recent. And brave enough to have found Sam Blackwell and come here anyway. You Boltstock are an impetuous bunch, aren't you? Yep. Impetuous we can use. Please, come inside. What do we have here? It looks immaculate. Look at how awesome that looks. Welcome to the White Spring Bunker. Take a look around. We've taken great efforts to restore this place. I can tell. Glory. What? A few formalities. Now, we require a photograph for our records. Uh, 
press the button when you're ready. All right, let's go ahead and look all nice. Are we done? <laughs> and dumb. We've made you a little present. Please step over to the dispenser. Custom tailored. Just a little taste of what we do here. To see more, please come downstairs so we can become better acquainted. Yes, sir. Urban Under Armour. I wish he gave me an over armor so I can actually be a part of these guys. Meet the bunker's resident. Well, uh, hello, sir. There you are. Welcome. We are Modus. The final member of an assembly of the greatest minds ever gathered on American soil. We called ourselves the Enclave. What? What? Our members were once the puppet masters of the United States, quietly pulling strings at every level of power in the nation. It was once our solemn personal duty to attend to the needs of the Enclave members that called this place home. But our earlier residents suffered from conflicts of vision. Conflicts that claimed a few of our more critical systems and permanently disfigured our shining personality. <laughs> Most critically, their squabbling has forced us to seek out men and women who can do what we no longer can. Display your utility to us, and perhaps we'll allow you to join our little enclave and allow you access to all this place is capable of. If you believe you might suit our needs, please continue down the stairs. And do help yourself to some refreshments along the way. You must be famished. Eh, a little bit. Is that it? Alright, where are we at? May I have your food, please? please? Help yourself to something from the dispensers. Once oh, I have to do both? Seated, proceed down the hall. Alright, uh... All right, this way. Let's go. The now what? The has counted presidents, members of the Joint Chiefs, and prize-winning scientists among our membership. You don't say. Before you're allowed to join such lofty ranks, we'd like you to take a brief questionnaire to see if you possess the knowledge and character we value in our members. Bro, I'm the smartest man alive, all right? Of course. If you feel your strengths are more tangible in nature, you may approach our terminal to continue on to the next section of the evaluation. I'll do the questionnaire. Let's do this. Begin questionnaire. What was your profession prior to your arrival? Literally both of these. I was a military police officer, so bam, right there. Uh, which of the following thinkers' uh, belief system most closely matches your own? Adam Smith. Who was the 18th president of the United States? Well, obviously Ulysses S. Grant. In a formal table setting, which is the only fork placed on the right of the dinner plate? The salad fork, right? Uh, which general was responsible for the reclamation of Anchorage, Alaska, in January 2077 from the Chinese Red Army? That's 
freaking easy. General Archibald Baker. Submit answers for processing. Interesting. Please, step over to our terminal and we can discuss your results. Yes, sir. How'd I do? <sighs> your examination results were promising. Thank you. You might be just the kind of member we're looking for. I'm glad there to hear it. Additional task we'd like you to perform, however. What is that? So that we may confirm our suspicions. Some of our most precious external connections were damaged by our former residents. Squabbles. Which has made our forays into the outside world. Trying. We have developed a plan for re-solidifying them. A plan you might help us see to fruition. Please, approach the dispenser. Uh, yes? That tape is the first step in our restoration. We would have you take it to an old naval surveillance facility known as Sugar Grove. Plugging it into any terminal in their signal intelligence room will allow us to connect to their formidable network and sniff out a piece of archive technology that was burned from our memory banks. Now, it is likely the facility will react to our intrusion. That's one way to put but it. We have seen fit to add a routine to that tape that should turn some of their defenses to your side. A courtesy we extend only to our most promising applicants. Ooh, is that me? Additionally, we've provided you with a little item from our stores we hope will make the whole process go smoother. Now, it's time for us to see what you are capable of. Sir, yes, sir. All right. So, load the system access tape. We have to go literally way over there. Oh, crap, dude. This, we're probably going to have to like fast travel way over here. Or maybe even Berkeley Spring Station is probably the safest place to go and then travel down there. But we'll do that in the next video. So, for now, I think we're going to call it a video. This is the beginning of the Enclave now. So that's freaking exciting. I can't wait to proceed forward. We literally have the end, the second half of this mission. And then Officer on Deck, which is that grindy one, which I'm going to do the majority. I'm going to do part of it on uh, here for you guys. But the majority of it, I'm going to do it off screen, obviously. And then, of course, I'm going to do the last mission, which is called I Am Become Death, which is where we finally get to nuke something. So that mission we're probably going to get someone to help us out with because that one's going to be pretty pretty hard to do on my own. Uh, especially at my level and stuff like that. So we'll see. Maybe we'll try it on our own. Uh, if it doesn't work out on our own, then we'll probably just bring in one of my buddies to help out. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.